Drive. A few bumps of brightness here, but I said a brighter afternoon further north. All of us will turn windier. That'll be the case through tonight. Rain or drizzle in the south clears away. Outbreaks of rain continue in the north of Scotland, but breeze keeps the temperatures up at around uh, 7 to 10 degrees as we go into tomorrow morning. But as I said, the wind picks up, and into tomorrow morning we could see some severe gales in the north of Scotland. 60, 70, maybe 80 mile an hour gusts in the far north. Gales as far south as uh, parts of North Wales. It uh, could cause some disruption though through the day in northern Scotland. Those winds only slowly easing down. Outbreaks of rain here. Elsewhere, overall, a drier day. A bit more in the way of sunshine at times, although still fairly cloudy to the south and west. And feeling a little bit fresher than this afternoon. Cycle, dance, bake, or simply donate to children in need. Together, we can all make a difference to young people's lives. Am I saying that if we don't do our bit, get vaccinated, that we are more likely to face restrictions? Then I am saying that. We farm to feed the nation. We don't farm to throw it in the bin. People can see the effects of climate change. The effects of climate change on countries like India and China are going to be dramatic. William Shatner? I'm so filled with emotion about what just happened. That's extraordinary. The BBC News Channel. More than just the headlines. Hello, this is BBC News with me, Anita McVeigh. The headlines, at least eight people have died and dozens are hurt after a crowd surge on the opening night of a music festival in Houston, Texas. The former UK Prime Minister, Sir John Major, has accused Boris Johnson's government of acting in a shameful manner over the Owen Paterson row. Thousands of people are taking part in a march through Glasgow demanding new steps to tackle global warming. One of more than 100 marches taking place across the UK as part of a day of global action. The organisation which enforces human rights laws warns it could take legal action against Yorkshire County Cricket Club as another cricketer comes forward to say he was the subject of racist abuse while playing for the county. People living in England will be able to book their COVID booster jabs a month in advance under new plans to speed up their rollout. And now on BBC News, it's time for Click.